Hello and welcome to this new episode. This is Maria here and you know that lately I've been playing with my stamps and my nail files to obtain all these amazing, amazing figures and materials that I'm going to be using in my journals. So this is one example, that is another example, these are another example, any one of these or each one of these examples you can watch in here, I'm going to link the previous episode so you can go ahead and look at how I made this amazing things around here. I've been testing and I've been telling you the pros and contrasts or pros and good things or bad things about this technique I'm using and I came up with. So today I want to build a tree. In other words, I want to make a tree using this technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have my branches around here and you'll be amazed of the results. So you go here. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. And so don't pay too much attention to the what is already on the paper. And then you go here. Sorry about that. You go here. And then you have like a structure of a tree. And um, this is the previous or the first step of that, right? So let's do a composition now because I'm starting in previous videos. I start um, using the little templates or stamps alone. So like a simple or separate figures. But today I'm going to do something else. So here I have all my silhouettes and wooden materials so I keep them in here and then it's this nice wooden box so I'm gonna pick the cat and I'm gonna do the leaves so I got this from the dollar store and they have an amazing section for crafts and uh, these are wooden shapes and I love because um, the Dollar Tree has this crafter square. This is new and is amazing. I mean, I have 40 pieces here for just 125. So this is what I'm gonna do. I have leaves. Remember, I'm always telling you, I'm a botanist and I love everything that has to do with plants and flowers and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the leaves to complete my tree and in a different, totally, totally different way than the previous ways you've been seeing or you've been watching on the internet. So the first thing I'm gonna do with the little kitty cat here is to have him in my composition. So the cat, I can have them facing away from the tree or facing in, like being in front of the trunk. What is gonna be better? Like facing to this way or facing that way? I guess probably here. But I'm gonna have the cat here. So you can go on your desk and to have more precision in this, I'm going to use a little roll of um, my scotch tape and have the cat glued on top of my desk. So as you can see, you make a little roll and you have it there. And now you have to place the your paper in the right position. And now you pick the file you want. I tried with a block and if you want to see the results, please click here in this link so you will see what what is better or which one is better to use this send block uh, a sturdy file or a soft one and i'm gonna go with this one this is my favorite one it's too bad i don't have the brand of this one but you can have them at walmart you can have them on amazon or pretty sure you can have them from your drawer in the bathroom so you don't have to buy anything to make this project just look for the images and the wooden pieces so you can have them in your composition so this is what i'm doing and i love it so i already have the cat and you see the complete feeling of the composition so i can have them remove and now i'm gonna do the little leaves so for the leaves i was thinking you can have them also glued on top of your desk and see what happens. I mean, probably they're not gonna be in the right place attached to the branches, but you can always try like making a 
random placement of the leaves and see what happens. Of course, you have an idea of what you have. So for example, I have more coming this way from a branch. So I can probably go ahead and do some more facing this way. So I can probably have uh, more um, space to do this and more probabilities to have them close to the branches. Sometimes they can they come like close like this one. You see they have the little pieces that you can always take them out. And so because it is important to have them empty so you can gain the, the image on your paper. So you just go there and just take it out, right? So um, I can do another one around here and see what happens. So I can have them there. This is out of the frame so I can go put it here and probably I can have a bunch of them. I'm going to try with a scotch tape and without scotch tape and see what is going to happen. So this is basically what I'm using, that and that. I tried in the previous episode and then I have my cat and of course a bunch of leaves. So let's do this like I'm going to have like with the uh, tape and without tape. So let's see what happens. So I, I'm, I'm here and please wish me good luck. I'm going to try to do this and I'm going to use that. Sometimes it's not good to have like a really, really hard file because it's going to destroy the paper right away. So you see the leaves there? Let's keep doing this. So use the softer side of your file. And then if you just touch the paper softly, you will feel where the leaves are. This is crazy, guys. This is super, super nice. There's another one here. No pattern, no ink, nothing. Just a file and imagination. And of course, the little wooden shapes, this one's. doesn't matter if you see any wrinkles because remember sometimes we like the grunge on the on our journal especially if it is a chunk journal and this is super nice you can do it with kids because it's like magic you have your page empty and then suddenly you start seeing the leaves coming in and out and then what we can do is we can move the paper around so let's say that we have a bunch of leaves for this first part and then we move the paper or we move the leaves and then we're going to have different patterns now and we can also we can always add add more leaves so let's see what happens now that i'm adding more leaves so i'm going here and let's take a closer look for this part so I can have more leaves around here. I don't have too many in this part. Look at my all my leaves, all the leaves I have. So I can probably go more here because I'm going to be out of the frame of the camera. And you know what? I'm going to have a bunch of leaves like that. This is probably getting ready for fall, right? All right. So let's put the kids inside here. This ladies, all right, so let's start this. Okay, I feel like I have one here. I have another one there. You can always feel it with your fingers or just pass the file around and you will see they appear really, really fast. Look at that composition with two of them. I love that. All right. Oh, 
also you have like a overlapping here like the leaves are on top of the trunk of the tree look at that that effect is really nice and I have another one here there You're not gonna see this idea. I don't think you're gonna see this in any other place because I came up with this idea from my mind. And that's why I named my channel like Maria Creative Mind because I'm always inventing something. So I am really gifted with a lot of creativity. So that's why I like to share in here all the things I do so you can probably go ahead and do it too so let's aim the camera just in this little corner here all right here please let me know in the comments what do you think about this technique and if you're gonna use it and if it looks 3D if you like it, if you think it's useful, and also let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this. All right, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, this is what I have. I believe, I think that is really, really nice. And let's just get rid of the leaves. I'm going to put them there so I can show you the results. So this is what I have. And what about having a bird flying on top of the whole composition? Let's do, or probably having a bird on a branch. I'm going to put that bird there. So this is going to be like making sure that I have them in place. And then I'm going to go with my favorite file. Can you see the bird? You see? It's there. And probably the cat is around there because of the presence of the bird. And I want to have uh, mm, probably a flower in this tip of the branch. There probably is going to be flowering at some point. So as you can see, I'm using clear stamps too. That's my flower. And then here I'm going to have another flower close to the branch. There. And probably here in this tip of the branch, there. You can always touch and feel that you have where you have the stamp or the wooden, the wooden figure. This is not the one. It's this one. Wow! This is really cool. Look at that. So that's the composition. And. These are the leaves. So I hope that you enjoy this episode as much as I did. And remember, don't go away without clicking in here. Please click here. And so this community is going to be growing. And if you want to visit my main channel, and if you speak Spanish, just go ahead and go to La Doctora de las Plantas. I'm going to link it down below in the description box and enjoy my content about how to care for your plants. So this is what we have and this is the result. So thanks for being here and I see you soon in my next episode. Bye, bye friends, bye bye.